Previously, we began the process of tying the new addition into our existing A-frame home. The two builds are joined together by LVLs and floor joists that all meet at the stairwell to the second level. To the T, you want this thing square? <laughs> you want to feel like you walk up Mount Everest, you know what I mean? The completion of the stairwell and exterior sheathing is the final step allowing us to move on to building the top floor. So it'll be 106 to where the set of stairs comes up. Yeah, right there. So the stairs are gonna walk up and tie in right here. Perfect. Like what? A little bit chilly. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't ready for it. No. No. I think we're gonna be making a fire tonight. <laughs> These should be our last two days working on the main level of the house. We are finishing up the stairwell. We're going to cut out the stair stringers going up to the second level, put up the last couple of floor joists. Yes. And then we're ready to put down the subfloor on the second floor. And then we have a block laying day or week, I should say. La 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 la. What'd you say? I didn't hear you. We've been procrastinating on doing block for months now. But I had the block sitting there, had the mortar sitting there. Been a big, huge crash nation attempt, but it's time to pay the piper, I think, baby. I think it wasn't just an attempt. I think we succeeded. Yeah. So now, now we got we have a task on our hands. We should have done a little bit of block each day. Who wants to do that? Like, come on. I don't want to do that. Do you want to do that? Not really. <laughs> so instead, we're just going to spend 48 hours <laughs> straight doing only block until that safe room is built. Today is not that day, though. Today we're we doing build stairs. stairs. <laughs> The top portion of the stairs is going to tie into two LVLs that we're going to cut down and install using brackets and structural screws. And then the rest of these floor joists are going to come over and tie in to the LVLs that we're installing for the top portion of the stairs. Starting to look like a house. It's starting to look like a house. My arms are burning. Hold on, hold on. Oh, my arms are burning. You're not even holding anything. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. Ready? Go ahead. Come on. You know, the closer I get to 25, the more out of shape I feel like I'm getting. You mean 45. <laughs> <laughs> Not 25, 45. <laughs> You're I'm 40, not even 40 yet. You're 40, you stop. You're 44 and three quarter. Good. I'm not. You just turned 41. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Oh. Pull it down. Pull it down. Pull it all down. There you go. See? That's why I'm in charge. Professional. You know, you are your real pro help. Sorry, Professional homeowner? Oh, not, 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 I mean. <laughs> Once again, I think locked into place. I think we dropped back and finished these last four or five floor joists just so the stairs aren't in the way. It'll make it easier. It definitely will. I went ahead and installed the rim joist on the steel beam closest to the A-frame. One end of our floor joist is going to tie directly into that. The other one's going to span across and hit the load-bearing wall. What happens when you take people who are passionate about precision machining, who have parts on the Mars rover and the International Space Station, and you take that and put it towards the creation of a razor? You get a clean shaven Josh. And I get my new favorite razor. I actually bought two, one for me, one for you. <laughs> Not only are you going to have the most precise aluminum razor, but you're either going to have your wife stealing your razor or you're going to have to buy her her own. Oh, different colors. His and hers. <laughs> now Aaron's leg hair won't be getting my face hair, so. <laughs> One of the reasons why the Henson AL-13 razor works so well is because of how well the blade is supported. A combination of how securely it's held and how minimally the blade is exposed deliver a smooth, safe shave and eliminate irritation and razor burn. The razor uses standard double-edged blades that are plastic-free and can be recycled. So not only is the Henson AL-13 completely plastic-free, but the quality is so good that it should last decades. In fact, once you own one of these Henson razors, the cost to shave is only about 
three to five dollars a year, depending on how often you shave. Over two billion disposable razors enter the landfill each year in the US alone. With Henson, we're not only lowering our carbon footprint, but we're not falling into that pit of the repeated cycle of buying disposable razors. It's a single blade known to reduce ingrown hairs, lessen plastic waste, and leave you with the closest, most precise shave. If you're interested in checking out the Henson AR13, click the link in the description box below. At least they're not 20 feet long. Bags are making it easier. They're 14 feet. <laughs> Yeah, Mark there, put it on the right side. I'm good. Good morning, sun's rising. Don't let the light in. I breathe in this feeling. Don't need to fight it. Down on my street, follow my feet. Feel the sun on my skin. Bells ringing, birds singing. Hello, good morning. So we're going to need another one. The gap here is way too big. We're doing 16 on center everywhere. But where this one floor drawer is laid out at, it laid out on top of this post right here. And this post goes straight up. It's load bearing that goes to uh, the roof and helps hold the roof up. I don't want that weight coming down on top of this floor drawer. So we want our post coming straight down on top of the post. So we moved it back four inches and he left us a big old gap. So we got to throw one right here in the center away from this post, but to bridge a gap of 16 inches. What do you think, girl? I think those floor joists warmed me up just in time to start lifting some subfloor. Really? <laughs> but first, both stairs. <laughs> Three three quarters. Okay. See how close we are. These strips are a little bit different than the last set, but you know, not much of a stair builder, but it'll deal. Right there, so we're gonna come up, going up, that's the other side, going to the center. Just as with the previous set of stairs, we're gonna put a two by four at the very bottom of the stringer so it doesn't push out. Get the stringer in place and then Josh will lock everything in with the hangers. You should really come down and step back and just admire the fact that we have one stringer. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, okay, cool. There's a lot of clearance though. So we close this up, we still have a lot of clearance. Or we're gonna do a closet after we just leave it. Well, yeah, but we're also taking that entire wall down, so it's like it's completely we have open. Pl plenty of room. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think we put a closet here. I think we just come down through here. We sheetrock it. This wall is gonna get built up right here to support the bottom of these stringers, and then we'll sheetrock down, and voila, it's done. I agree. When I built the stringer and put it on here, we're planted it back and forth to see where we want to put it at. And uh, we realized the further we pushed it forward, the more real estate it's going to take up. So we slid it back a little bit and that gave us a little bit of an overhang. So the solution to fix this, we're going to build a small wall underneath these stringers just to give it a little extra support. Before we do that, we want to finish the stair stringers and then put the treads on there. bedroom. Come on, I got you. Make it fall. You're good. We'll put railing up so it's safe, okay? Okay.
As I mentioned, we bumped the stair out a little bit. Now it's hanging off the landing, so we need to support it somehow. So before we get started with anything else, we're gonna go ahead and build a small wall that goes up and supports the bottom of the stairs. Now it's locked in place, it's properly supported, so there's gonna be no uh, oh <laughs> moments in the future. <laughs> it's secure, we're good to go. Oh yeah, yeah. Give me the jump test, you know what I mean? It's solid, we're good. I'm just gonna say that this is a huge milestone for us. It might not seem like much because it's just a stairwell, but this is gonna be our last day working on the first floor. And then we're onto the second floor and at that point, there's actually not that many walls that go up before we start the roof. It's a lot of roofing. It's a and lot of roofing. It's going to be a lot of complicated cuts, and uh, it's going to be a blast. <laughs> More <laughs> roofing than wall building, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Go up. Ready. I'll handle this, okay, Josh? Are you ready? Ready. One. Two, three, feed! Okay. <laughs> okay. What are you doing, silly? <laughs> what are you doing, girl? You're clean and not muddy for once. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna take my roto, I'm gonna cut this portion off right there. I'm gonna take a vertical piece of sheathing, put it up vertical, nail it in, it's the overhang, I'm gonna cut that portion off and cut all the windows out. Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> For the I had no idea what the next step was. <laughs> <laughs> For all you out there, you're probably a pain in my eyes, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> That's good? Yeah. Yeah. The wall is locked in place and secured now. No more wibble wobble. Now you can see what the windows, what the room is going to look at. How's it look? It's beautiful. I mean, the woods back there are gorgeous. I know they are. Once we get, you know, those yeah. dirt mounds cleared out of the way. What dirt mounds? <laughs> <laughs> cool. Now it's good. After months of renovation, this 100-year-old building in Romney, West Virginia has been transformed into a cafe. It was a complete gut and restoration project to bring back the original beauty of the building and save it from further deterioration. Before long, this cafe will be bustling with neighbors sipping coffee and enjoying conversation. But first, we step towards the milestone of completing HVAC, installing backup power, completing the fire suppression system, and close in on the final inspections necessary to open to the public.